Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this series of videos, we are working on AZ-104, Microsoft Azure Administrator Labs that are available on the GitHub and I'll give you the link on the video. Uh, we have started uh, in last couple of videos on Lab 7, which is Managing Azure Storage. Uh, in the first video, I did the task 1, provisioning the lab environment. In the last video, we looked at uh, how to create and configure Azure Storage account. And this video, we're going to focus on the task 3, which is about managing the blob storage. So let's get to that one. So in this task, uh, you will create a blob container and upload a blob into it. So to do that, um, on the storage account blade in the blob service, click on containers. So we created a storage account in our last lab which is this is the storage okay so let's see if I can go in here okay that's my storage account uh, let's look at my lab so they want us to go the storage account blade in the blob service section so in the blob service section let's see do you see a blob service section blob service section to the containers that's where we want to go okay uh, kill container and we want to create a new container name is this and uh, public access level is private with no anonymous access private no anonymous access that's good so hit create so that should create a container for you where you can store stuff now in the list of containers click az1047 container and click on the upload button so you go to the container and you can click on the upload button and here browse to this license on your computer and click open alright so this is that file is really here and uh, you can look at raw and I can save this file uh, in lab 7 is fine uh, so upload let's go back to the lab and read it one more time in the list of contents you click on upload okay browse to this and click open on the upload blade expand advanced section and specify the following setting this is interesting this is I have not seen what am I trying to upload okay so advanced section I guess this is what they're saying so file license okay so you got that file and here under the advanced section we are going to specify some stuff so authentication name authentication type is the account key so authentication type the account key there is uh, already selected block type is block blob and it, it could be block blob page blob or append blob so this is a block blob and that's automatically selected for you block size 4 MB that's 4 MB and access tier is hot so we change that to hot and then upload to folder licenses okay now here the access here can be set to individual blobs okay so your access tier could be either cold or hot it could be mixed and now we can click on upload and this should upload that particular file in here so let's see what happens okay so back on the container click on licenses and then license so here you can click on license and then license and it should show me the properties of this file 
on the license blade review developer options okay on the license blade what are the options so you have uh, snapshots you here you can edit this particular file uh, generate a sass uh, that you can give it to somebody to to be able to access and download this file uh, you can also give when you're creating this sass you can provide more permission like create write delete whatever they want when you're creating the sass so that sass will have four of those permissions selected uh, but that's that's about it so here node you have option to download the blog change its access tier uh, acquire a release which you would lease it lease status to locked currently it says set to unlock and protect the block from being modified or deleted as well as assign custom metadata you also have the ability to edit the file directly within Azure portal interface without downloading it first you can also create snapshots as well as generate SAS tokens okay so we have now in this video looked at the blob storage so all we did really we went to our our storage account so if we start from the beginning here is go to storage account this is the store that we're using under this one we went down to the blob service and we created a blob container as a private entity and then within this one we really uploaded the licenses and under this folder we had this one available okay so that's about it as for the lab we are done with this section so the next section will work on managing authentication and authorization for storage account if you like it please like the video subscribe and share good luck with the exam